Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple hashtag system with Ruby on Rails. So I already generated a project. Uh, you can check on Google how to generate one if you don't know. Um, let's just get into it so you can see it quickly how to do it. So Rails G, G is a shortcut for generate. So we're going to generate a scaffold so we will have what to work with. And it's going to be a post. The post is going to have a title. It's going to be a string and going to have a body, which is going to be a text. So the user can upload the posts and insert hashtags into them. So we have a post table. The user can add hashtags to them. So we're also going to need a model of tag because in the tag table, we will store the hashtags that the user is going to insert. So it's going to only have a name and a string. All right, let's... Uh, migrate that okay so right now we have two tables if we're going to take a look at the SQL Pro and refresh we have the tags with the name and the post with the body and the title now we need another table because the post will, will have the post and in the body of the post we will have the hashtags now these hashtags will be stored in the tag table but uh, we need to be able to fetch all the posts for a specific hashtag or or to fetch all the tags all the hashtags that are related to a specific post so vice versa it's a relationship that is many to many because a hashtag can be belong to many posts and a post can have many hashtags so let's create that table it's a rails g again generate migration create post tags and gonna have a post references the same thing with tag references all right now the create post tags name and uh, that's just a convention of rails basically as you can see it uses the both of the name of post and tag because they are both connected and before I migrate it, um, what we're going to do here is uh, take a look at the migration. First of all, it created an index so we can fetch it faster from the database. And we have a foreign key. So as you can see, because it's referencing, right? So we'll have a post foreign key and a tag foreign key. And there's one thing that we do not need the ID. So we're going to remove it. Rake DB migrate. And let's take a look at the table right now that we created. And notice that even though I haven't mentioned post ID or tag ID, I just did post references and tag references, Rails already knew that this is supposed to be post ID and tag ID because it's going to reference. The post ID will reference this post, and the tag ID will reference this tag table. Pretty simple. And now uh, we also need to define actually the relationship and the model so we can use the methods to fetch hashtags or to fetch posts. So many to many, so we'll have has and belongs to many tags. And here it's going to be the same, but just for posts. mistake. I think I made it here also because it fetched that shortcut from there. All right. So now these, these was, this is going to help us. So because we have this relationship, I can do something like this, post.tags, and I'm going to see all the hashtags that related to that specific post. And I can add on, I can also do tag.post, and I can see all the posts that is related to a specific tag. This won't work. If I wouldn't define these relationships so these are essential let's uh, take a look at our project here and oh we see still he see the project right that's the same home page nice home page but <laughs> let's take it out for the root I want to use the post controllers index action method so basically we can see the list of all the posts. So right now we can basically create a post, but we're not going to create a post because we cannot insert hashtags yet. So let's take, of this, take care of this right now. So I'm going to paste a code because I do not want you to see me typing that. 
And okay, and I'll, I'll explain exactly what it does. I'll explain exactly what it does. So after create, before update, these are all callbacks that Ruby on Rails already have. So as you can understand, after create basically, so after a user is inserting a post and the active record will create it for us, we will do this. What the, the what is this doing? So on the first line, well, we are in the po we are finding the post that was just inserted. Let's see, so find by id self that id because again we're talking about we're in the post class and we want to find the post. So a post wants to find himself, so we're using self. And we need to fetch all the hashtags, right? All the words that starts with the hashtag symbol and w plus means numbers and letters also. So we have self.body and we're scanning it, right? This is a beautiful English syntax, that scan. And we're gonna assign it to the hashtag. Now this can be a one hashtag, and it can be 10 hashtags, right? So we're gonna have to loop over them. And there's one thing that I need to add here. And is this the unique one, right? We want to add unique because if a user added two hashtags, like pizza and pizza to the same post, we will only store one pizza, not two. Because if you will store two pizza, what's going to happen is that on the page that shows all the posts that belongs to the pizza hashtag, it will show that specific post twice. So it doesn't make sense. If a user made a mistake or made it on purpose, it doesn't matter. He inserted two pizzas on the body, it will still show two pizza. But on the relationship, on the post tags table, we'll only have one relationship. And here, tag equals tag that find or create by. So find or create by means find this specific that this current tag that we are working on right from here because we're mapping over them. If it doesn't exist, create it. If it does exist, do not create it because we don't need a duplication. Since we already have that hashtag in that tag table, then we're just going to use it. And here, so the hashtag we're going to downcase them. So we're going to be all we're going to keep keep it consistent. All of them is going to be just downcase. So we won't have any differences that this is capitalized and this is lowercase and it's going to cause just a lot of confusion. And we're also going to delete the symbol, the hashtag symbol. We don't want to store it in the database. And then we're going to use the relationships, right? The method relationships. So post.tags is going to show all the tags for that specific post, right? So we're going to show that specific tag to that relationship, right? So these double arrows, it's just going to push it to the end of the array. So here we are doing the same thing but before update because also when we update a post we need to be able to take care of that. Now the only difference here is that you see we delete all and add again. So post that tags that clear. This is the only thing that is different here. What happens in the update, I don't know what happened in the update, I don't know what the user did over there. And because this is a complex relationship, well it's not really complex but I can't just do update, it's not going to work. So I have to delete all of them. Right, so post that tags. I'm deleting, I'm clearing it, and I'm just re-adding it, and it's, it shouldn't be a problem because it's not gonna it's not gonna insert a million hashtags. So let's see if it works first of all. Right, let's see if it works. Create a new post. Hashtag. I'm gonna put here pizza and New York because I like New York pizza. And let's check SQL Pro. So tag name, oh, we have pizza and we have New York. Let's see post tags. Oh, we see the relationships. So both of them is relating to the same post ID one. And we have one and two. Let's add another one. Let's create a new post. Hashtag one, I'm gonna call it burger and fries. Let's create that post, go back. And let's refresh it. And behold, it's another ID, two, two, three, four. Now let's edit it. I want to edit it. Let's edit this one. Let's add cheese. Update post, cheese. Let's see how the database is going to function now. As you see, it's deleted and re-added again. This is why they're all now at, at the last. But you see all of them, three, three hashtags that belong to the post ID one which is this one, you see, one, two, three, and the tag names, as you can see, it, it is working very good. So now there's uh, pretty much one thing that we need here, as, as you can see, if we're going to the list here, we have no link, we need a link, we need like a, something like post hashtag 
And as you can see by the history, I already worked on that. So, but this is this is something that we need to do, right? So let's do it right now. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, create a route, right? So it's a get post hashtag, and we're gonna use this name as a parameter variable and we're gonna send it to the post controllers to the hash tags action all right so we're gonna have to go to the post controller and let's again make sure we didn't make any typo post hashtag name all right let's use this one already so let's create our method let's create our method def hashtags and let's end it so the user is going to type post hashtags and whatever hashtag it is so we need to fetch that so we're going to do tag equals tag dot find by name params name right so this name is this if I'm going to take this m off and call it nay this is not gonna work. We have to be consistent. Consistent is the key to success in life. All right, so now we found a tag. Then we simply need to assign an instance variable. Instance variable post equals to tag dot post, right? And now notice this instance variable. I can do it this way. It it will still assign it to it, right? But then it will not be available on the hashtags view that I'm gonna soon create. So the instance variable will be available. So we will use that one. So tag that post is basically it's telling me, give me all that posts that relate to that specific tag that the user was looking for. So let's create this view. Let's do it quickly and posts in the file hashtags it must be exactly the same one by one to the controller action if I'll take down this s it's not gonna work now take a look at this index this was generated by the scaffold if you will notice here it also uses the post instance because it's taking it from here from this index one right that was generated by realm I didn't do it so we can just use the same thing same code exactly but the only thing that we want to do here is we want to add a helper render render with hashtags we're gonna create a helper so we can render the body with hashtags with well we will render them as links right and let's add it also to the index page as well so basically I'm gonna create this helper you see post helper so what I'm gonna do here I'm going to define here, uh, again, render with hashtags. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put here the body. This body is this, it's the post body. You're going to go over, over it one by one, just like we did in the post, in the post model, just like we went it over one by one. It will be pretty much similar. But we can even copy this right now. And we will just change it, right? We will do an exchange, a substitution. We will take this word, we will bring it back, but as a link. So the user will not feel a difference, except it will be a link. All right, so what are we gonna do here is now we're gonna do a uh, body dot content. No, body dot g sub. G sub is the method. Sub, I believe it's a shortcut for substitute. Right? So we're gonna pass the same regular expression because we're shortening for the same word, and we're gonna pass in a block. This is gonna be the word. So this every if we have five hashtags, so each hashtag on its turn will be this word, right? So we're gonna do a link to link to word because we want it to be the link. Now, what will be the link is going to be post. This is important to keep this slash. Don't take it off. If you take it off, you'll be in trouble. And 
Yeah, no, I'm in trouble now. All right, hashtag. And what do we need here? We're going to put the word, of course. Now we're going to put the word, but remember what we did in the post model. We, want, we do not want to add a hashtag to the link, to the URL. This is going to cause us problems. HTML safe, so Rails will not give us back an error. Keep in mind that HTML safe can be problematic, so use it wisely, right? Because it can make you trouble if you use it bad, if, I don't know, users will try to harm your system. But let's, let, let's see if it works. Go here, oh, we have a link. So let's do inspect our element. Pizza, pizza, pizza. And here we have post hashtags pizza, and this is New York. So let's click on pizza. And oh, we see only the pizza, we don't see the burger. Now I'll show you here what happens if I take off this uh, slash. Let's take this off, let's refresh. And as you can see now, because I took off the slash, it will not go back to the root and start this link again. It will start this link from this point. So it's gonna be post hashtag pizza, hashtag pizza. See, post hashtag, post hashtag pizza, right? So this is not good, take it back. Bring back this, refresh, and it's working. New York, notice the URL is changing, and we have a functional hashtag system, and the burger is working. All right, so it's working. You can use it, and you can become the new Twitter or hashtag. It was a pleasure to teach you. Give me some feedback if you liked it, and I'll make some new videos. Hope so in the soon future. Have a great day. Bye bye.